Hey friends, Mark Holmes here, and as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. <sighs> Without you guys, this literally does not work. I'm headed back home, so I'll be back in my man cave tonight so we can have our live stream. Uh, maybe we'll take some calls, let you guys vent some more like we did on Monday night. I'm about what it is about the Dallas Cowboys. You know, if I had a dollar for every person who's come in and trolled me and made fun of us, or made fun of me, or the memes that are out there about me, well, you know what? I'd be able to quit my day job, wouldn't I? Because we are now the laughing stock of the NFL. Now, maybe there's some grand plan. I'm sitting here listening and trying to analyze. You know, I try and look at everything that's out there and try and figure out what's going on. And Jerry Jones said kind of he doesn't want to fire Jason Garrett right now because it could mess up the grand scheme. And I think what that is is if he fires Jason Garrett, then that means he's promoting somebody within to be the head coach. And like, let's say it is Chris Richard, and Chris Richard turns the team around and makes the playoffs and does some damage and stuff, then maybe the person that he really wants and he can't hire. I'm thinking that's what it may be, that that's the grand thing. And what that kind of says to me is, is he's looking at keeping things the way they are where they pick the coaches and um, they pick the players and they just want to have somebody come in with their philosophy and their system to take over on that side of the fence, in which case they don't want to change all of the coaches. And that may be the right thing. It may be the wrong thing. But it seems that's the way we've been doing things for so long. You know, Jerry says that he would do anything. He'd write any check big enough that it would take to win the Super Bowl. Does he really believe that? Does he really mean that? Because if, if that's what it is, if Jerry, if it honestly is that you are ready to do anything except give up your Hall of Fame ring to get back to the Super Bowl, then why isn't it you don't turn over control? That you step back, because for 25 years, what you've been doing has not gotten us back to the promised land. Your ego has gotten in the way. And when I hear things like, you know what, uh, we're going to stick with Maher. You know, I, I understand Maher's in the Hall of Fame for hitting those 63-yard field goal. But here's the thing. You can now look at three games that miss field goals changed what you had to do at the end of games. Three games. Because instead of having to get down there on the goal line and try and have to get a touchdown, you get these two field goals yesterday. It changes the complexion of the game. And you have to evaluate everything that you do. And that means from the ball boy to the coaching staff to the players on the field, and it's just not working as currently constructed. So if there is a grand scheme, a grand plan, I'm hoping that it is. Because what I see from comments of fans, fans are fed up. Fans are, screw y'all. I mean, I have not seen comments as heavy as I have right now after losing to the Patriots. After now getting punked. And I mean punked. Because to have Buffalo come into our house and literally do the dag dance, to be eating that turkey leg, to be basically, you know, basically kicking our ass in our own house. And our team literally just rolling over and dying and playing lifeless. Clearly, there's something wrong with this picture because we're getting beat by teams that don't have anywhere near the same talent base that we have. If there is a grand plan, if it is that we just didn't want to waste any money firing Jason Garrett and that we've got somebody in mind, but we can't get him in right now, please let us know. Because I've heard trust the process. Well, we've been trusting the process. 
And while we've been trusting the process, we've been getting joked at. <sighs> well, I'm going to get back up the road and get back into the man cave. And we will definitely have a come to Jesus live stream tonight. We'll take some phone calls and maybe we'll go into an extra hour tonight because whew, it's going to get crazy. There's so much hope for this team and for my Cowboys. Been fooled again. I'll see you guys tonight on the other side.